In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small fishing ship in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also guys if you're looking for more ship tutorials I'll make sure to leave a link in the card above as well as in the description. Anyway let's get into building. Alright so here I am on my flat tutorial world and this is where we're going to be building it. Um, On the flat because then you can see what's going on, whereas as soon as you've got water, it, it makes things complicated. So in this intro section, I'm just going to talk about the length of the ship, width of the ship, where you're going to be building underneath the water, and if you've got it right docked up and you want the front sticking out, how many blocks and all of that kind of stuff is going to be there. So first off, it is a, uh, 18 blocks long, so that is right from the back piece here, which is, which is overhanging, 17 if you're not looking at these slabs, uh, all the way to the front piece here. It's seven blocks wide, that is because of the sail. Uh, so the sail is like a lanteen sail, and it just sticks over quite a bit over here. And as you can see, that's including that bit of the sail that's, that's out there. So if you've got it all tied up, it will just be, uh, it'll be eight, uh, six blocks wide instead. And from a block right here, to the same base layer, all the way to the top, it's 21 blocks high. So it's not a huge ship, but it is a nice looking, nice sized, uh, sailing ship. I really like it. I like the. I like the ship. It's good. So underwater, where you're going to be building it, it is this spruce layer. So there's the two layers here. So your water will be right against it there. You'll then have a block next to your water. So right there, and then you'll go down, and then this is going to be your layer. That's going to be your layer, just underneath like that. Nice and simple. Nothing too complicated there. And where we're we going to be building this one, if you are going to be doing this, I do recommend doing a square like this, so 18 blocks long, uh, 7 blocks wide, and then I wouldn't worry about the 21 high unless you've got uh, got some things going on above it. But uh, yeah, if you are building it docked, you can use this square to then figure out where it's going to go. And this right here is 7 blocks back, and then it meets the first slab. But where you've got here is 5 blocks, I believe, 1, 2, 3, no, 4 blocks, and then you get this bit. So you could have your dock, you know, right up to here, or you could choose to have it three blocks. That's why building uh, the box is, is really quite useful. And um, yeah, so I do as well. It, it makes it a lot easier. So that is it for the introduction section. So let's get on to the layers. Okay, so for layer number one, uh, make sure if you've already got your box, if you're using that, then awesome. If you're just building it out in the water, it doesn't really matter where you're going to be building it with this box at all, obviously. But for those that are doing it docked, what we're going to do is from this box right on the front of it, we are going to go three blocks over. So one, two, three, and then counting this one, we're going to have seven blocks back. Just use any sort of color wall or any block, really. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then what we're going to do now with, with mine, I used crimson slabs. So I had a lot of color in mine. And then I also used uh, spruce slabs on uh, well, spruce blocks as well. So use those two together um, feel free to mix and match any types of wood or materials I've done a lot of mine with the white bottom on them which is personally my favorite I just wanted something a little bit different for this one so grab your crimson slab we're going to do a upper slab just on the on the kind of block next to that one going back and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a block of crimson planks switch to our spruce slabs and we're going to actually go out at an angle and we're going to have five of these going back so one two three four and five it's going to be the same on the other side so one two three four and five like that that's what you end up getting then we're moving back in so we have a crimson plank block like that an oak fence and then an oak plank block as part of the rudder now in the middle of these ones i decided to go for crimson planks um i actually wanted almost have like this this red going all the way underneath it so you can see and then then coming back uh, up a little bit as well uh, I thought that looked pretty cool so that's why I decided to go with it again it's me trying out different little things to see how it works we can now get rid of this guide piece because we're all done with that and uh, yeah guys we'll get on to layer number two okay now for layer number two come to the front and with your crimson planks plonk that on top of your slab and then have a crimson stair coming forwards off of that one there. What we're going to do next is switch over to a spruce slab. And you're going to have a spruce slab right on the side of that crimson plank block. And we're just going to drag this back with blocks. Uh, spruce blocks, of course. Right to the back there like that. 
Um, so bring it just one over from the last one. Then have a spruce slab. And then just on top of your um, oak fence, you're going to have your crimson planks on top of that. And you like that. And then with your oak stair, place that on top of it like that. You can also, if you wanted to, switch these out for uh, crimson stairs. Um, I just wasn't too sure. It just made too much of a gap for me. So I wanted it a little bit more solid looking. So I went with the blocks, but just a little switch switch out that you can do if you want. So again, on the same, same on the other side, we've got this block of crimson. You're going to place a spruce slab on that one, on the upper piece. Bring your blocks all the way back on top of the slab that you had before. Bring it over by one more. And then right here, you're going to have a spruce slab. And that, guys, is it for layer number two. Okay, now for layer number three. What we're going to do, guys, is on the front, you're going to place a crimson plank block directly on top of the stairs. Upside down crimson stair um, right next to, the, uh, sorry, right in front of that. Then also right next to that, you're going to have a upside down crimson stair. Then we're going to have a crimson plank block. Then a crimson stair, normal, going inwards. So going in towards it this time. So not like upside down or anything like that. Going in. So you might as well do the same on the other side, to be fair. So upside down here, then a block. Then you got that stair there. Right, bring these stairs all the way, almost to the back. So just last one is the one you're going to be ignoring. And this is where we get our spruce planks, placing a block there. And we're going to need a block that I don't have, of course, which is a spruce stair block. So organized. So you're going to have a spruce stair block and you're going to have it going sideways here. Then for the middle, have it go normal and then on the back there as well. So it just wraps around here to, to make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, there's only so much we can do with these smaller ships to make them look really interesting shape wise and try and make them more realistic. So anyway, pull these crimson blocks back right to the end then a crimson plank block right there like that so we're not quite done yet what we're going to do is we're going to place in a nice little block here a really really simple block um but we're just going to place that right here so it's where you got that stair right in front of that one you can have a slab on the other piece which is oak slab so make sure it's an oak slab as well we're also going to have a oak slab here where we've got the stairs now this is all to do with the limited deck on this one. It is, it is really limited. That is the only deck block here for the front. The rest of it is like a trapdoor or it's the or it's the front kind of mast. Right, so then grab your stripped dark oak wood. This is what I used for my mast on mine. Uh, totally up to you if you want to use the same thing. But, you know, a, a wood block of some kind. Um, we're going to leave a block. Then we're going to go right into here. So this is where we bring this one up. And we're going to put a ladder piece on one side and the other side as well. So with, with my one, again, it's all up to you what you want to do. Uh, I had, you know, I've got a little back area here, which we're going to be building. Well, not really going to be building. We are building. And also on the front as well, we've got a nice little cargo hold. You can put a little chest here, really, and probably a chest there. So you get about two chests. We have to kneel for them. So kneel, crouch, crouch. Crouch is the right term. Get there eventually. But there we go, that is it for layer number three. Okay, and now for layer number four. So what we're going to do, guys, is on the front, we're going to place a crimson plank block right here. We're going to need an oak stair, kind of up there. Oak slab, we're going to have an upper piece on this crimson plank block. And then we're going to have on top of this uh, upside down crimson stair, we're going to have an oak slab on the lower. So up here, then lower, get that there. Then grab your crimson plank block again, and we're just going to have this right here, right behind that uh, lower slab that we put just, just down a second ago. Now behind this, we're actually going to grab dark oak planks and place it right in this block here. And then right here, we're going to have a dark oak slab. So this is all part of this bowsprit, and this will mean that when we get the little gap, that's why we get this little block gap, so that's what we're looking for. So, right, we might as well just place that block on the other side. There we go, gets us to a, a nice stable point. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have crimson stairs and we're gonna do an upside down. We're gonna face the back of the ship and have an upside down stair above that little stair we got here. Like that, and this is all to make cool, interesting shapes, basically, with um, with the ship, um, which I tried to do as much as I can. So we're now gonna need crimson slabs. Gonna have two of those, two slabs there like that. And then what we'll do is grab some blocks here. 
Uh, we're going to need two blocks. One, two. Two blocks of crimson, that is. Then we're going to have an upper crimson slab right here. So place those on both those sides. Then crimson stairs. We're going to have a normal stair here. Then we're going to have one that's wrapping around to the back there like that. So wrapping around at the back. We've also got one normal there. This is just to create a little, very, very small area where we've got like some place where some light to come through. Um, up to you. It's totally optional. Obviously, water could also come through. So... Yeah, but if you had tiny, tiny, tiny cannons, <laughs> then uh, I guess you could, uh, you would add a cannon on each side there, perhaps. Um, depends. Thing is, it as soon as you come across a big ship, there's no chance you'll surrender. So that's the only thing. Uh, now, what you're gonna need is wipe, what warped? Sorry, wiped. Gah, warped. Hype fay, hype fay. I have no idea how to say it. Hype pay, hype pay. I don't know, but place those down. I use them on the back because I thought they looked kind of cool. Um, obviously, they are glowing, but um, they're a very cool block. So I decided to go with those on the back of mine. Grab your warped trapdoor. I'm going to have that on either side. This is all to do the little details of this tiny, tiny, tiny cabin. But, uh, you know, detail it all up. Uh, and you're also going to need, if we can grab it, a spruce slab. <laughs> there we go. Grab that, plonk that on the back as an upper one. This is to create the little window. And we're also going to need, in this case, I use a crimson trapdoor on the back here. Then we're going to need to grab a warped slab. So warped slab this time and put these on either side on the upper piece. And to be fair, we might as well do the next bit, which is just have it going over. So it doesn't look so weird and uh, out of place. But yeah, put a little put one above that little window. So you can just see like little bits of the detail block coming out here. And we've got some slabs and we've got this nice bit going over it. So all to make it look quite intricate painted you know uh, like there's some patterns going on there um i don't know it's quite simple but cool at least that's what i think so what's next right grab your oak slab and we're gonna have three oak slabs on the upper here going one two and three like that I'm gonna grab now this is up to you you can either go with a composter uh which i've been using a lot thanks guys for telling me about that one uh, I'll keep on thanking you for forever. Um, so you can use the composter. I really like the look of this one. Or you can use a barrel. Uh, either way, they look pretty good for uh, these kind of bits where the mast has been joined together. So if you do it that way, there you go. So you can even have either of those two. Either of them look great. Um, for stuff like this, emergent ships, I try to use the composter now because I want barrels in the ship and around the ship. So it's less, I know, you, you don't have to interpret it anymore. So that's the main thing. Right, so yeah, place that down on top of the log. Uh, and then right here, on top of the ladders of either, these, either of these sides, we are going to plonk in a trap door. Now I do need to actually check on this side. I'm pretty sure this drops down. Yeah, it does. I haven't got that here. So yeah, so you are going to put a trap door there. And you're then going to have an oak slab, which is dropped down one, then can then lead to it. And then you end up with this. You end up with placing loads of blocks down, uh, if you're me. Uh, you end up with this very, very small cabin. You can see the tiny little window. It's up to you. If you wanted to make it bigger, you could do... Um, that's just what I went ended up going with. So it is kind of a fishing ship, but um, it could also be, to be fair, a very small merchant vessel for, for little local routes and things. It'd be pretty nippy with uh, with this kind of sail as well uh, and the size of it. So pretty pretty manoeuvrable, pretty, uh, pretty speedy if you get the wind. Anywho... That is it for layer number four. Okay, and now for layer number five. So what you're going to do, grab your dark oak slab. On top of this uh, crimson slab that we've got, uh, block here we've got, <laughs> place a slab on top of that on the lower piece. And then going up, have one on the upper, so just above that oak stair. With your spruce trapdoors, what we're going to do is going to place down some spruce trapdoors here. Actually, we're going to go this way. So we're going to have it this way. And then just one on each side. It's just to add a little bit more height to the front of it. That's all. Then what we're going to do is right on the back, it is one block from this, this piece here. So we've got one of these slotted blocks. Place down a slab. Then we're going to have a block. Then we're going to have an upside down crimson stair. And then another upside down crimson stair, just to make a little gap here, like this. So we do the same on the other side. So block here. And then, uh, sorry, slab there, lower slab there first. 
then a block of crimson, then you're upside down at crimson stair, and then up the upside down at crimson stair. Like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is going to have a crimson slab here, then we have an upper crimson slab, then another one down like that. So you just get this nice little area here. And what I also did on mine is I could put a crimson slab in here as well. Purely so you get this kind of like little gap here, so you just get a really, really small, small kind of uh, gap for that one. It's up to you if you want to do that or or not really. Then we have grindstone, just whack that onto this block here, and then you've got your nice wheel as well. So there you go, and there's your steering wheel for the whole thing. So nice and simple. Last couple of bits, we're going to have our spruce trapdoor, place this on here, and then on the two sides like that. And uh, guys, that is it for the hull of the ship. So what we'll get onto now is the mast, rigging, and sails. And now for the mast and rigging. So what we're going to do first, grab your stripped dark oak wood block. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to go on top of this composter and up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then put our compost block on and then bring composter block forwards. And then we're going to have five blocks, one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Grab a granite wall, and we're going to have two granite walls on top of this, one and two, and then two spruce fences, just on top, like that. So for the back piece here, we're just going to place a spruce trap door over the top. If you've done it with a barrel, then you don't even need to worry about it. Uh, we're going to put a ladder up this as well. People seem to like ladders and being able to climb up to the top of things. So that's the reason we've got them on there, and this this does still work. Well, actually, if we jump onto this, it's because you can just jump up, and then you can get up to at least here. Uh, though, yeah, not not the safest place, but uh, it'll do. So there we go. That's good. What we'll do now is with your spruce slab, what we're going to do here is just on the block above the composter at the bottom, we're going to have a block here, and bring this one to, forwards with two, so that's an upper slab with spruce slab. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonal and up by a slab. So what we we'll do, go out to here, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to do the same again on the other bit here, so one, two, three. So you end up with one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, nice and simple. Now, what we're going to do is just above this um, uh, compost uh, block, we are going to have some stairs. So we're going to have a set of stairs here, so stair there. We have another stair there, and we're going to have these in sets of two. So we're going to go forwards as well. So we're going to go one, and then two, and I think we do it one more. Yeah, just one more, not one more block, two more blocks. Yeah, so it goes up quite a lot on this one. So out to the side, and then forwards. So one, two, and then just with another one this time just to finish it up. There we go, like that. So it's a proper proper lantern sail where it kind of comes right across. Then we've got just another two sets of two for this bit. So right here, one, and two, two, and then the same again. Lots of block placing here, one, not very successfully, and two. There we go. Right, so off of that compost block, or just above the compost block, two there. Going forwards, you've got two, then you got another two, and then you got one. And then going up, from that two, you've got two and a two. Nice and simple. Kind of. <laughs> Not always, but you know what I mean. Right, so we're just going to connect this up here like this. So with oak fence, what we're going to do is go down with four. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to go out. Two, three, four. So that's when you go out, that was your one. So one, two, three, four. Then you go out and then down. It's four more blocks, so it's a five in total for that one. Yeah, it is. There we go. So that's what you get for that bit. Um, you could, if you wanted to try and do something for the front bit, try and connect these two up, but uh, I don't bother at all. Um, now, another thing that we I didn't actually plan for was this, which I forgot about. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go up with that. So we've already got these one, two, and three, four, five, and six. There you go. So that's what we've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So your dark oak slabs coming forwards and with our oak fence I decided to go with the light one this time trying it out see what uh, see what I think about it really 
Um, we'll see what you guys think about it as well. Normally I'd join them all up. It's up to you if you wanted to. I was thinking, actually, smaller ships, I might start doing this. I didn't do it for the back, though. I didn't like the, uh, the disconnected look. It was more with when the uh, when the sails start to, to tie in. I didn't like it as much, but give it a go. So here we, anyway, here we go down with down two blocks. We go to the third one. Place it every other one. So we're just going forwards. Now, normally, if you guys are familiar with my tutorials, what we do is zigzag it. Might even be easier to zigzag it and then uh, then knock it out. So just continue with this to there. But then what we can do is we can knock these out. And the good thing is you don't have to connect it in there as well. Because uh, it's floating and it looks kind of nice. So there we go for that. So next bit we'll get on to the sails, which is of course the final piece. Okay, and now for the sails. So two ways you can do the sails tied up or basically open down whatever um so if we do the tied up version it's exactly the same as the other version which is nice and easy so we just put a couple blocks behind a lot of these ones in front of the uh composter of course we try and kind of hide them well i'd say hide them that's not really the right word at all um, but try and push them back like this um and then what you could do is you could end up having it where it's bagged out a little bit maybe in the middle like so and that would be it for tied up so you've got like most of it in the middle here it's kind of difficult difficult to actually show you guys to be fair um but like maybe maybe even go that far something like that would be just to tie them up um it's, it's quite simple what we do for not having them tied up i don't know why i had one block over there i don't know what's gone on there but move that forwards um what you do for not having them tied up you're trying to make it look like the wind is pushing so in this case the wind direction is r roughly around here that's where it's catching it so we want to try and do something like that so you can start from the bottom or you can start from the top it doesn't really matter but you could um you're trying to kind of make your way up i usually try and keep with this line a little bit so you might do for example if you just did a straight line uh, you could go to like there for example maybe have a couple blocks behind it like that. Um, we also want to do a similar kind of thing over here. We want to make it kind of connect into this block. So let's see what we've got. So we've got to move backwards. Let me go down to like there, perhaps, or there. So all you're trying to do is just move it out. It's so like here, we might have drawn across to there. So you kind of get get a little bit of shape there, and then you can kind of see what which blocks need to move and change, and kind of change it accordingly, really. So I might actually push these back completely like that but then push these in have this down to make it a little bit more of a circular pattern going on and same with these let's put these above like that and we might have this one going forwards because it's going to catch a little bit more of the wind same with this one here and just keep on playing around with it so you want to try and get these try, want to try and get circular kind of um, shapes I haven't really got it here at the minute, but I'll kind of show you what I'm trying to do. This one's the most difficult because of the mast. So you've got to kind of play around with the mast shape. We went down, for example, like that, and down there. Then here we might go out. Like that. There we go, that one's a nice, easier one to see. Then you can see where you can curve it. Same with this one. Never get, You never want those kind of like straight lines going on at all. So we can then, you know, curve that one in. Or we can also alternatively push this out to like there and knock that one off to make that more circular. See how that works? That looks a lot better. We might even push that one back as well so you get that up there. And then what we can do is we can push out more of this. Expand it a little bit like this. We will have it even going down as well. There we go. So it's nice and easy, really, with these kind of sails. I, I think they are, anyway. I find them a lot easier than the other square-rigged ones. Um, but they're not too bad. Maybe I'll even do that. Hmm. I don't know if I like that more, or if I like that more. I couldn't tell you. I think I think I like that more. I think my problem with this is that there was a block there and a block there. I think that was what my problem is, and then that kind of looks a bit weird, so we'll push that back. There we go, that looks a lot better. So yeah, all I do with this one is is just that sail. There's nothing else with it. So um, here's my other one. Um, that's what I ended up going with. Totally different. I do the sails differently every single time. 
I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's organics. Organic stuff you end up doing differently every time. And that's cool. That's one of the good things about it, I think. So, there we go. And I might... I can see why I've done that now. Right, there we go. Yeah, so even though I'm tweaking it, I'm like, mm, yeah, no, maybe not. I mean, this one's got a lot more down here, has it? That's got an extra block just there, really, which is one black back from that one. So that's the only different block, really. Nice and easy. Um, but guys, that is it, at least for the main tutorial. So I'll show you very quickly what I've done with the interior on this one. All right. So this is the first ship in a while which I haven't had in the water for one of these interior tours. It's because I haven't got around to plunking it into Lordsport yet. Uh, as you can see, I've been building up quite a fair few ships in this shipyard, I guess, um, so that I can make it quite easy for copy and pasting them in when I need to. Uh, and this is just one that I haven't got around to. So the interior on this one is uh, already done. If I plunk it down, uh, the front part of it, it's pretty simple. It's a chest and a chest. So got one chest there. Crouch down, got another chest. Pretty easy. <laughs> Not much you can do with that. And then the back, it's it's pretty small as well. So I've just got a chest at the back there, um, a lamp. So um, uh, I've, all I've done is put on an extra extra oak slab on the top of that bit. Um, you could have put one here, but then you can't walk into it. And we've got a bed. Um, and, and that's it, really. Um, simple interior, if you can call it that. But uh, you know, that's all we really need for it. Um, you know, it, more than likely. This cabin, if it was going to be used for fishing and things like that, you would you would just have hold for for fish really in in both of these. So yeah, you know, it's just the way that it goes. But I really like this little ship. I think it's quite cool, um, and I'm sure it'll add quite a bit of character into your guys' world as well. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.